In today's video, we will cover what is Profinet, a leading industrial Ethernet standard. You'll learn about its key components, how data flows through Profinet network, device addressing, and real-world examples of how Profinet is used in industries to make processes smarter and more efficient. But before we start, if you're passionate about industrial automation and want to stay updated with the latest tips and guides, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Now let's discuss what Profinet is all about. Profinet is a powerful communication protocol that enables seamless and reliable communication between devices and controllers and automation systems. Now let's dive deeper into the key components that make Profinet work smoothly and efficiently. Controllers are the brains of the operation. In a Profinet network, controllers are like brain who manage and control data exchange between devices and provide process control. They interpret data coming from sensors and input devices, then send commands to output devices such as actuators, motors, and other machinery. Commonly referred to as PLCS programmable logic controllers, these controllers are the central hubs that ensure real-time decision-making. They also store configurations and handle complex algorithms that optimize processes on the production floor. Devices in Profinet are the physical components such as sensors, actuators, and I.O. modules. Sensors collect information about the environment like temperature, pressure, or machine status and feed this data into the network. Actuators, on the other hand, carry out physical actions like turning valves, moving levers, or activating motors based on commands from the controller. Input-output I.O. modules are intermediary devices that connect sensors and actuators to the controllers, converting analog signals to digital ones and vice versa. Switches are critical for managing data transmission within a Profinet network. They serve as communication hubs, routing data to the appropriate devices and controllers. Switches can also perform filtering, which prioritizes critical data for real-time communication. In industrial environments, managed switches are often used to ensure optimal traffic flow and prevent network congestion especially in complex setups with multiple devices communicating simultaneously. Ethernet cables form the physical backbone of a Profinet network, connecting controllers, devices, and switches. Unlike traditional field bus systems, Profinet uses standard Ethernet cables, which makes the system highly adaptable and scalable. These cables ensure high-speed data transfer, and are robust enough to endure the demanding environments of industrial settings, such as extreme temperatures, vibrations, and electromagnetic interference. GSD files are like a blueprint for each device in a Profinet network. They contain essential data such as device characteristics, configurations, and communication parameters. When integrating new devices into a network, these files make the process much simpler by providing pre-configured settings that allow the controller to recognize and communicate with the device immediately. GSD files help reduce setup time and minimize human error during configuration. Next, let's talk about how data flows through a Profinet system. The first type of data flow begins with the sensors. These devices continuously collect environmental data such as temperature, pressure, speed, and more. The sensor data is sent to I.O. modules, which then forward the data to the controller. This is a highly efficient process with data being exchanged in real time, often in cycles as short as a few milliseconds. Sensors detect changes in real time, feeding this data to the controller so that it can make decisions quickly. Once the controller receives sensor data, it processes this information to make decisions based on the programmed logic. The controlled data generated by the controller is then sent to actuators or output devices. Actuators could be motors, 
valves, or other machinery responsible for physically carrying out commands. For example, if a sensor detects that a machine part has completed its cycle, the controller can send a command to the motor to either start a new cycle or stop the machine. One of the key strengths of Profinet is its ability to handle real-time communication. This means that devices can exchange information with minimal delay, which is critical in processes requiring synchronization, such as motion control or robotics. Real-time data can be sent using a priority system that ensures critical messages are delivered faster than non-essential data. Let's now discuss how Profinet works in a real-world scenario. Devices are connected to switches using Ethernet cables. Switches manage data transmission and filtering, ensuring reliable communication. Controllers oversee data exchange and process control, handling all operations. The GSD files simplify device integration by providing ready-made configurations. Devices communicate in real-time, sharing sensor and control data for seamless operation. Now, let's take a look at some of the key benefits of using Profinet. High-speed data transfer. Flexible topology for easy expansion. Simplified device integration. Scalable, reliable, and perfect for industrial automation. Let's now explore seven real-world examples where Profinet is making industries smarter and more efficient. Let's start with machines talking to each other. In a packaging plant, Profinet connects packaging machines, allowing them to communicate and sync their actions. If one machine detects a faulty package, it signals others to halt production, minimizing wasted materials and downtime. Next, let's look at automation. An automotive manufacturer uses Profinet to automate its assembly line, connecting robots, welding machines, and inspection systems. This results in faster, more precise car production. In motion control, a CNC machine tool uses Profinet to synchronize its axes, enabling precise cutting of complex shapes. This ensures smooth, accurate motion control. Let's discuss remote monitoring. At a wind farm, Profinet connects turbines to a remote monitoring center. Operators can monitor turbine performance in real time, reducing maintenance costs and improving uptime. Finally, let's discuss smart factories. In a food processing plant, Profinet connects production lines for real-time monitoring and optimization. By sending data to the control room, factories can improve product quality and reduce waste. Now, let's look at building management. A commercial building uses Profinet to connect HVAC, lighting and security systems. This centralized control optimizes energy efficiency and enhances comfort. Have you encountered Profinet in your day-to-day -day operations? Let us know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more in-depth guides from it and Automation Academy.